Hej, kære lytter. Her til aften bringer jeg en særlig og sørgelig meddelelse. Bandet The Forest Quartet har mistet deres sangerinde og saxofonist Nina. Det er nu en uge siden, hun gik bort efter en lang kamp mod en sjælden sygdom. The Forest Quartet er et meget mystisk jazzband, som efter sine bor dybt inde i det mørkeste af en uberørt skov. De har tidligere fortalt mig, at en vigtig inspirationskilde ligger gemt derinde, hvor træerne står aller tættest. Bandet har valgt at afholde en afskedskoncert for Nina, og dermed give hendes fans en mulighed for at sige farvel. Koncerten finder sted om tre dage på bandets egen, helt unikke skovscene. Personligt gør det mig meget ondt, at Nina ikke længere er her til at fylde vores hjerter med hendes smukke stemme. Mine bønder går ud til de resterende bandmedlemmer. Jeg håber, I ser en vej ud af mørket og stadig kan finde jeres egen fantastiske musikalske gnist. Quickly introduce yourself. What's your name? Where you're from? What's your instrument? Sebastian. I play drums. He's the best jazz drummer in Denmark. Thank you, Kirk. I wish you could say you were the best jazz pianist in America, but <laughs> it's a it's a big country. It's a hell of a big country. But the best pianist in Colorado, right? Probably. So so you're American and uh, and a pianist. Yeah, yeah. Some say the best in Colorado. <laughs>
Uh, no, no, I'm not sleeping. So, are you less depressed in the woods? Okay. First of all, I've never been depressed. But if we were to pretend that I'd been depressed in the city, which I was not, well then, compared to my level of depression in the woods, if we say that in the city I was, like, not depressed at all, maybe zero, okay, maybe one on a scale to ten, <laughs> then in the woods I'm, like, minus seven. I'm not depressed at all. The opposite of that. <laughs> okay, I'm lost. <laughs> okay, the important thing is that you are not depressed. Point out the one thing that is the main uh, inspiration. Is it the trees, or is it is it the birds, or is it the bees, or do you listen to your own carrots while they're growing and get inspiration from that? What? I'm I'm too lazy to grow anything, but sometimes I I do fantasize that there are these like generators out there in the forest, like generating health and inspiration for freaks like us. <laughs> okay, he's the only freak. Our favorite freak. I thought that was the freak. Now you are loon. Yeah, she la loon. <laughs> <laughs> okay.
JB, is it, is it really going to be good? I mean, are we even good? Maybe we are good. And that's, that's something. You got to give me some time to think about it, though. I imagine these generators as proper machines. Big, sci-fi-ish, cool-looking machines. In the yeah, wait, wait, wait. Machines out in the wood? Or do you consider the tree to be a machine? No, machine. But like I said, it's a fantasy. Yeah, maybe there are generators like this in the city, too. Uh, but they don't work any longer. So, do you all have a forest fantasy, an individual forest fantasy, like Kirk? Mm-hmm. The morning mist. Um... The smell in the air after rain, that's not a fantasy. Again, JB, it's me. Sorry for being such a mess and not picking up earlier. Yeah, I don't know exactly what's changed, but I'm starting to feel like we can pull this off. Just like we planned it. I'm gonna go rehearse and, and I'll see you there.
What about the rest of you? Do you all have anger issues? No, we have other issues. I have anxieties sometimes. <laughs> Don't laugh. It's true. It's okay. I said, I said it in a funny way. Uh, okay, but, yeah. <laughs> but Jean Baptiste, does, me, does that mean that you are less anxious in the woods? I had a lot of therapists and 
But still, it didn't help. In the forest, I have just the trees, and even though they are quiet, uh, they are the best psycho psychologists you can imagine. And they're cheap. They're for free, actually. <laughs> so, story goes, Nina found this trio of mentally unstable jazz musicians and made you all move into the woods. She lured us into the forest. <laughs> Thank you. 
feeling so good uh, just earlier yeah yeah it felt like um, bad it was one of the panic attacks thing I think uh, I'm feeling better now it's much better um, so uh, yeah like in 10 minutes could be there cool see you there
And what about you, Sebastian? Do you miss the city? You're the only one in the band who grew up there in the city after all. I think I might be the only one in the group who doesn't miss the city at all. You don't have a favorite bakery? <laughs> I have what you would call anger issues in the city. It, it didn't really seem to be an issue for you. Drummers don't have anger issues. They just have anger. If they don't have a drum, then it's an issue. Sebastian, what makes you angry? Tell us that. Man, he, he's not picking up. Oh, shit, shit. 
sorry, everyone. We need to go get Sebastian. Drummers are such divas, but we'll be back shortly. Do you know who else is coming tonight? Uh, the Plastic Crew, MT, and the Cronos. Uh, hopefully some fans, too, and not just our friends. It's just because I know their concert has been announced on the radio. Really? Mm -hmm. That's something. I mean, I hope people can find their way out here. It's not on the bus routes. It's such a long time since I've been to Seb's place. I don't think I really remember the way to his house. Yeah. yeah this, this part of the voice kind of creeps me out. It's... It's a bit too wild for my taste. Do you have a map or something? No. <laughs> Maybe it's dumb to try to find his house when it's dark. Why won't he just pick up his phone? I don't know. But I don't feel very comfortable getting trapped in the dark right now. Pretty sure it's this way, actually. I guess uh, we really need a drummer after all. Okay, I can already kind of sense his rage. When he's not talking, 
Usually that means he's in a super bad mood. We have to get to him, man. We can't suddenly turn into the forest duo. We just became a trio. Mm. Forest duo. A terrible damn name. Yeah, but please just give me a moment. I, I need to calm down, okay? Introduce yourself. She's what keeps this whole thing together. Like a, like a mother of a kind? For me, she's more like a sister. Oh, would you let me introduce myself? Please, please let her Good introduce. damn it. <laughs> well, I play the saxophone and, and then I sing. Nina has the voice of a god. A goddess? Yeah. I'm from the west coast of Denmark. You are right. Oh man, I don't know how it's gonna be. You seem okay now, right? Here I'm fine, but 
on stage. I'm sure you'll be okay. It's mostly our friends there. It's all people you know. We need you, man. Okay. getting super dark here. Yeah, and people have probably already left. We've been away for so long. Yeah. Wait, are you guys for real? I don't know, I'm just not really feeling this concert right now. Come on, sure you are. I'm just not feeling really tense. You pulled me out of my house for this? I don't want to be around you two. We should all just move away from here. Enough of this forest life. Nobody's happy here anymore. Yeah, I'm, I'm starting to go crazy nuts in these woods. Since you left, I've been wanting to go back to the city. Me too. I haven't really been thinking about anything. I've just been nothing. I felt nothing. My anger gets the best of me these days. I'm so sorry, guys. It must have been super stressful for you. Nina would have wanted a concert. It's time to say goodbye to you, Nina. I haven't really said goodbye until now. Me neither. The guy, the people who like really just say at you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and super loud. He, he knows. <laughs> Thank you all for coming and, and thanks for your patience. I, let's give Nina the goodbye she deserves. We all miss your voice, Nina. We all miss you. <laughs> <laughs>